Kind of scale guys, Nexus here. Welcome back to Destiny 2. And in today's video, we're back again because obviously new season, new content, new weapons. And Season of Arrivals has brought a bunch of new weapons in the form of pyramid weapons. And today we're going to be looking at this chunky boy. You can already see, look at the size of it. It's, well, okay, the bow string always goes through my arm. But just look at the size of this chunky boy. It puts me to complete shame. But it is going to be called the Whispering Slab. They even called it Slab because, like, <laughs> it's just a big slab of metal. They, didn't, they just know. It was just like, okay, we made a dinner plate of a weapon. Let's just call it a slab. But this is a combat bow in the kinetic slot, so it's a primary combat bow, which is nice because there's not very many of them. Now, you do get this from the pyramid engram, so umbral engrams, and if you focus them to pyramid weapons, you will have an orangey chance to get in this, and it will come with random rolls. So you can see I got a bunch of different rolls here. So without further ado, let me go in and show you the roll I've got. Whispering Slab. It stings of sorrows that have not yet come to pass. But this is a lightweight frame bow, so this is one of the like more unaccurate weapons, but they fire super fast. But for the bowstring, I got elastic string, decreases accuracy, faster draw time, slightly increases handling speed. Or you could use flexible string, so light and easy to draw, slightly faster draw time, slightly decreased accuracy, increased sounding speed. For the arrow, I got fiberglass arrow shaft, heavy and consistent, great increased accuracy, slightly decreased stability. Or it could go for helical fletchling, aerodynamic and light, slightly increased accuracy, slightly increases stability. For the first trade, I got hip fire grip, increased accuracy, stability, and precision hit targeting when firing from the hip. And last but not least, I got opening shot, so improved accuracy and range on the opening shot of attack. Now, overall, this roll is, I think it's pretty sweet. I mean, I've got a bunch of rolls, but hip for a grip on a bow is usually nice because you're not always ADSing or just like times where you just don't need to ADS. And obviously, opening shot, the first shot, it's opening shot's basically going to proc every time you shoot the freaking bow because it's, the one, it's like you shoot once at a time. So, improved accuracy and range of the opening shot of attack. Mm, with a hip fire grip, I should be able to precision hit headshots for days. You will see on the screen right now, though, all the different rolls you can get. You can see there's actually a really good amount of different rolls you can get in this that would actually help out in a bunch of these different situations. So without further ado, let's go in and test the Whispering Slab out. Alrighty, so first map up is going to be Cauldron, but just look at the weapon. Oh my god, the slab is real. It is definitely sees not the chunk. It's just such a big slab. I am using my O-Keepers, though, as well, just because I want to be able to hold on to the ball as long as possible. And uh, we got a body shot. Oh, this guy right here. Oh, buddy, 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 buddy. <laughs> oh my god, did none, of the, did none of them know I'm here? Oh my god, no, that's a shotgun! I knew I had to switch the sidearm. Freaking hell. But yeah, look at that. 138 ish for a dome. This is lightweight frame, so it's not going to be like massive damage or anything as well because the draw time and stuff. But it's meant to be like one of these where you like double tap really fast. You like hit a headshot and you can body shot as well to get a kill. But it's it's meant to be for rapid firing and stuff. So you can use this, like as I said, most of the times you use this with like in conjunction with a different weapon. But you can actually just use this by with uh, by itself because it is that fast firing. Can this guy die? Uh, 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 and I'm dead. The only thing is, bows in general, they're just... <laughs> they're not really people's, like, cup of tea and stuff. A lot of people just kind of refrain from using them. Like, you never really see a meta of bows. I mean, the wish end is like one, but that was... Oh! Oh! No, 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 no. Buddy, 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 buddy. Uh, uh, uh. Is this guy lagging? Yes, he is. Oh, no, that's a shotgun! Boys, 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 can we all just play a fair game of no sh no special weapons? Please, thank you. Oh my, I don't know how I'm still alive. But yeah, bows in general, they never really become uh, meta or anything like that because people just don't really like to use them. But they do output some insane damage. Like, look at that. They'll hit fire that guy. Uh, uh, where's that guy gone? He just, he just dipped out. And he just hit. They'll just hit fire that guy. They'll like, hit fire this guy. <laughs> the hit fire grip actually is really sweet. I will actually die to that, but... The hip for a grip actually does add a little snippity snap, crunchy crack, crispness to this weapon. I mean, the ADS as well. I mean, is that not like copyright infringement right there? That literally, uh, it just looks like, oh, what the? Oh, whoo, whoo, we're, we're going in. We, we got two kills and somehow my teammate just didn't finish him with me. But man, is that that copyright infringement right there? It literally looks like a Pokeball. I'm, every time I shoot, I'm just going to go, got to catch them all. Boop. <laughs> But I am, you can see I am using no keepers. That's how I'm able to just like kind of run around just doing this. But like there's the body shot. That's the thing. This isn't like, I don't need to always hit that headshot when they're weak. What's really sweet about this is you can literally just flick to them and just like do that sort of stuff. The only problem is you will not be able to double body shot a dude. So you're going to have to hit with at least one headshot. But in terms of rolls, I think this is probably going to be your best bet. Now we're going to just going to super this guy. Huh, huh, huh. This guy here. Oh my god. No, buddy, buddy. Come, come back, come back, come back. Back. Oh no no! Stay back! Stay back! Fell beast! 
fell, frickin' beast! Oh! Uh, uh. <laughs> We're just toying with our food! Oh, we survived! Oh, birdie, thank god you were here. Oh my god, that was... That, I don't know how we survived that. And I don't know how I missed that headshot, but... Oh! Uh, 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 take the shot, the frickin' shotgun! So it is nice in that regard, obviously if you have a really good sidearm or something like that, you can draw relatively fast, you will actually like just annihilate people, but there's a quick body shot, oh, and there's a headshot, but there's the, like the hipfire grip, oh, oh, it's so nice, oh, can this guy just peek again, there we go, there's a headshot, gotta catch him, oh, what, I missed, no, I'm the worst Pokemon trainer that's ever lived, uh, uh, come on, come on, come on, buddy, buddy, oh, no, guys, guys, can we just please stop with the constant Dawn Blade popping. Jeez, Louise, every time I turn a corner, there's a guy with a freaking Dawn Blade. There's a dude up here, though. Oh, Ooh, we just destroyed that AC-130. Oh, man, where is it? This guy here, oh, the hip fire grip. I think the hip, the hip fire grip does come in handy for things like that, and we die. This guy is actually annihilating. Oh my god. I am super weak as well. Gotta catch them all! I missed! I, I missed! There's the body shot though. Oh my god, he's super weak. Oh, we shut down the fist of havoc! Screw you, buddy. Oh, we're gonna body him. And then he's gonna die, thank god. We're gonna headshot this guy. Gotta catch them all! Oh! Every time I say that, every time I say that, I freaking miss. Oh my god, can you not? Can you just not, please? Freaking Dawn Blades everywhere. Oh my, every time I turn a corner, there's a Dawn Blade. The bow, we only got 25 kills, so 1.92. Yeah, your man got 50 opponents defeated. What am I playing against? The sweaty of the sweat. All right, so we're going to be on, obviously, the Exodus Blue because I had to remember the name there. But because uh, I didn't do a I did okay with the last game, but I want to just, I want to show. This is a lot better. We just got stomped by one guy, I'm pretty sure. But as I said, this is a bow with actually decent rolls and stuff. Now, we'll headshot that guy, buddy, buddy. Oh, okay, buddy. You know, you know he wants to fight me, but there's the hip fire grip. That's what I'm saying. Like the hip fire grip actually makes a big difference. I actually really like it. I think it makes a massive difference. Okay, we're just gonna get this guy super fast. Oh no! Oh no! Ah! No! 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 Ah! Stay back, fell beast! Stay back! And then I get killed from behind. Oh man, but there's where it's meant to be. That's like the combination. Realistically, well, other people would use hand cannons with quick draw and stuff. I like sidearms just because I think sidearm meta, sidearm meta. I like the sidearms in general. Oh my god, what is with this? Woo! Oh, 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 we're gonna, okay, we're just, we're doing the reverse. We're getting the bow, but there's a headshot. Oh my god, oh, ah! He's so weak. Oh my god, what was that? Just like a big, like, I don't know, corporate meeting over in the corner. Discussing tactics, and I just roll over, and they just have fire at me. But like, you seen how many headshots I got there just from no scoping? Like, it's pretty insane what you can get with that. With the hip fire now. That's what I'm saying though. That's why a lot of people won't use them because it's not that they're inconsistent. Like it's it's really just to do with your aim. Like it's up to you to be good with it and stuff. But like if you hit headshots with these sorts of weapons, you will like you will destroy people. The only problem is if you're getting absolutely like fired up by an AOR and stuff, you try hand cannon headshot, it's just like an insta kill. So it's gonna be sweet. And I missed him. And I missed him again. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god, that was a terrible throw. Man, that was a bad name, but there's the headshot, hip fire grip. Oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, we get this guy. Oh, it's a body, a body, but then we get the kill. Huh. Woo, now we're cooking my freaking diesel. Oh, my, oh, okay. Oh, thank God my team were there. Yeah, that is what we like to freaking see. The opening shot as well, just giving me that extra crippity, as I said, crippity, snippity, whatever, snap. And that's a shotgun. I need a dip. Oh my god, Dawn Blades again. This is just fr it's like freaking Nam all over. Flashbacks everywhere. Chopper spinning. <laughs> just Dawn Blade after freaking Dawn Blade. What is this? I never knew Dawn Blade was just like the go-to. What? Whatever happened to a good old-fashioned Nova War? Something I could kind of run away from. Whatever happened to that? Why, why is everyone AC1 turning right now? Is that? Oh my god, it's a freaking... It's another Dawn Blade. We got him, but jeez Louise. Everyone is just using Dawn Blade. Guys. What was, is that what you are having the meeting for? Where you just like, let's go, let's just pick a, let's just all pick a super. We're all going to run right now in that little corporate meeting they have to start the game. What is this? Another top plate. <laughs> Please stop the carnage. Literally, I'm going, I'm literally going to be in a psychiatric hospital with freaking, like, I don't know, whatever, uh, PTSD. That's the word I'm looking for. Uh, dude here though, and um, we're going to just, oh, is that a, 
Double down. Okay, we got a double kill. I thought that was a, like the whatever thing is. I think the well. No one uses anymore in PvP, but the well. I thought it was that, and I was like, oh, no, I'm not fighting that. But you know what? It was just this little rifty boy. Oh, and we're going to get a dumb headshot on him. But that's going to be opening shot with the hip fire. Oh, it is pretty saucy. The damage, like, instantly. 138 damage, like, for a headshot. Oh, my God. Go. Spray and pray, boys. Spray and pray. Spray and pray. Spray and pray. There we go. <laughs> But yeah, 29, 2.42. Okay, apparently just we're coming up against gods here. I know the skill-based matchmaking's gone, but 44 kills by Uran. Jeez, he went in. He was using the auto rifle though. All right, all right, all right. We're going into some PVE with the Whispering Slab. Of course, it's a bow PVE, so it's actually not going to be too bad. PVE, actually, these bows, they actually put insanely good damage in PVE and stuff. Obviously, the lightweight frames and, like, people want to... Um, Probably Rampage and stuff when you use like Arsenic Bike, but I do have a Swashbuckler on this one. I changed it out. This one has Swashbuckler and Rangefinder. Now the Rangefinder probably not going to be the best, but what will happen is when I knife this guy. Oh, can you just all stop, please? Like you see, I Swashbuckler by five. So I can just one-shot freaking everything because the Swashbuckler by five, I think it's 60% or something it adds on to damage. It's pretty freaking insane. Headshot that guy, headshot. Okay, I missed that guy, but like if you see, I bodied him. I didn't exactly kill him, but if I do get a knife kill and then I hit him, well, he's like weak anyway. But you will see, I'll start one shutting ads. So with the swashbuckler, forgetting one melee kill, you just get an insane amount of damage afterwards, which is, it's really sweet. And this is, I'm pretty sure this is the only bow. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is the only bow in which I can actually um, get swashbuckler on. I don't think there's other bows, but like, look at this. Oh, yeah, just keep tapping away, keep tapping away with the, hey. <laughs> Ah oh, man, swash blocker on a on a bow is just insane. We're gonna hit this guy though. Whoop, whoop, and we're gonna do some more damage to him. Hit him with the knives. Bump, bump, bump. Obviously, if I had something to punch, I'd use it right now because obviously to get a, a melee. Oh, did he spawn over this side again? He did. Bows as well. They're just super nice just for sitting back and stuff. It's like. Just sit back, pepper shots in. It's kind of like easy mode. There's a guy invading again, but there is the prime evil down no time at all got that big w and honestly i will say whispering slab pve with a swashbuckler oh it is actually pretty beautiful well that's it for me and the whispering slab combat bow honestly as far as bows are concerned this is one of the better ones this isn't the bow i was using though actually i was using uh, this one for pvp this is sort of pvp role to go for handling and stuff could change but Generally speaking, the Whispering Slab in PvP, it actually was super good. As far as these lightweight frames go, usually they're kind of like kind of inaccurate. I'm not great with the lightweight frames, but lightweight frames are for certain play slots, and this definitely ticks all the boxes, especially with this roll. This is super accurate. Like I was hitting domes for days with this thing, just no scoping as well. The hip fire grip, I never thought I'd say it, but the hip fire grip is actually really good. Especially on a bow. I mean, generally speaking, on other weapons, you're probably like, ah, it's not that great. But on a bow, it just helps out immensely. And then a PvE, this Whispering Slab is actually really sweet. I don't know if there's any other bows that roll with Swashbuckler, but having Swashbuckler on a bow, it's basically, like, a ton of extra damage. Now, the only thing is, if this was an energy weapon with a, with a Swashbuckler, that might be better, because a lot of people love the Arsenic Bite, which is lightweight frame as well. A lot of people love that just because it's an arc weapon, so it deals with shields like immensely fast and obviously has rampage and whatever. But the Whispering Slab, don't knock it. It's really good for dealing with like majors and stuff and yellow bars because if you get one melee on a sh like a terrible little crappy troll, you're doing some insane damage and you can just start one-shotting all the other ads. It's literally like getting rampage to the max stack super fast. And but regardless, if you liked the video, just like, and if you want to see more content, subscribe. Fantastic day. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one.